Hey, what is up, everyone? Um, it's Jerome Gabriel here, and right now, I'll come to you. I'm recording this video to to make a guide, a hero guide on Sun Wukong, the Monkey King, in the Dota 2 game. Um, so the first question is why? Why I chose this hero specifically? Why MK of all the hundreds and heroes that this game has? Um, first of all, because this is my favorite hero as of now. It's been for more than a year. Um, I've always li liked this hero, but I have gotten more, more, more coined, more, more closed, more, um, more, more happy playing it right now. And I do feel that um, I know how the mechanics of this hero work, um, even though I'm not that good on it because um, <clears throat> I'm not a pro player, I'm not a, a good, uh, I'm an extraordinary player, I'm just a regular player, I'm a mediocre player, so um, just so that you know that you're taking a, a hero guide from an Archon player. Here's my rank, Archon 1. Um, this hero is pretty straightforward, it is not that hard to play, it can be played as a position 1, 2, 4th position maybe. But I, I do think this is better um, experienced in the first position as a carry, a hard carry. And also, I believe that Monkey King is one of those heroes that allow you to experience Dota at, at its finest. You can fight, you can farm, you can um, play around the map, you can set up kills, you can stun, you can man fight other carries, you can... Um, do well on your lane by yourself and that's what makes this hero a great one to start learning the game the skills are pretty straightforward I'm not gonna um, specify them so let's move on to the gameplay um, so he's an agility hero that has a lot of yeah a lot of physical damage throughout the game starting from the beginning, the, the, the early game, because of your passive. Um, if you read here, you, have, you get 130 plus damage in the level 4, no, level 4, and with the talent, you get an extra 130 plus damage at level 15. So, you do hit pretty hard. How do you want to play the lane on Monkey King? Uh, let me see if I can select some games here. Mm -hmm. That was against um, a razor offline. Um, okay, <clears throat> before the lane starts, let me talk about the counters and, and, and the good heroes that are, are good with you on the lane. Um, generally, you want to play with supports that can enable you to keep hitting the, the target on lane phase. So, for example, my preferred supports are Venomancer. Um, let me see here. Witch Doctor that has a stun, maledict, third skill of him. It's really strong. Um, let me see here. Maybe Oracle is a good one. Grimstroke, you can, you can set up kills with the stun, and his first skill does deal slow. Um, Ogre Meiji as well. He can stun, he can slow, and you can close the gap really, really, really fast with your tree jump. Um, so notice the pattern here. <clears throat> you want to play with supports that generally have slow dealing skills that enable you to keep hitting the target. And by that you're not only going to cause physical damage, but you're also going to heal yourself. So you are a freaking good hero trading man to man. Um, what you don't want to play against, at least in the lane phase, against ranged heroes that do slow, that do not allow you to hit them. So for example, Venom Amser, again, um, Viper, mm -hmm. let me see other heroes here, maybe Husker because he can disarm you, and he's a ranged hero, um, Necrophos, this is terrible to play against because he can be ethereal, he does heal himself, he has a high region, 
and you can't keep up with his region, even though you do have great life skill, life skill, life steel. Um, um, against Razor offlane, against Ancient Apparition, that's really hard to deal with. Against a fourth position Dazzle and Kentris, because you can't really get to her once she gets that that um, big camp creep. So yeah, you want to play against these strong melee heroes, like um, against DK, against Centaur, Earthshaker, um, Pooch, Sand King, Earth Spirit, all these strength offline heroes that do not have great armor and do not act actually have ways of getting away from you bars night stalker that um you are able to close the gap and keep hitting them for a really long that's the dream that's what you want to do um and how do you want to play this lane well it does depend so for example if you're playing against a viper you do want to play as safely as possible you don't want to get close to him you don't want to try to hit him because after all it's just gonna use the second skill it's gonna break your passive and you will not be able to life steal to life steal and steal damage so in these lanes the best way is that you max tree dance um <clears throat> generally how do you want to approach the game as a monkey king? You want to get really strong at the first 10 to 20 minutes. So Moving to position. that's the dream. So for example, um, what would be your skill build? If you do have a support that is able to take the range creep, like a, a punch that can hook the creep, um, a lich, maybe a Zeus, a Wyvern with the second skill, something that can grant you the, fir the, the first branch creep of the first two, the two waves. You can level up the passive because it will allow you to trade efficiently with the enemy offline. Um, on the other hand, if you don't have support that is able to take the range creep, like a, let me see here, like a, a, a Jakiro, like um, a Silencer, you will be wanting to level a Boundless Track. This has good damage, good um, the stun duration, so it, it makes you comfortable enough to take the range creep and secure the last hit. Um, at level three, that's your most powerful. That's your most powerful power spike on the lane. So you're gonna put two points in the passive if that's a lane favorable for you to trade. Of course, we're thinking we're thinking about that um, situation where you can actually stay on the lane and trade against the enemy off lane when you're not against a fiber of Um This the second level here is really strong. It almost doubles the damage and. It enhances the the lifesteal by a ton. Um, that's the point where the the enemy most of the times, at least in this rank, will not have um, measure of how strong you really are. So if they do slip a little, if they advance too much, then just hit them, hit them until they die. Um, by level five. Four, you are supposed to have already won the lane. I suggest that as a monkey king laning on the safe lane, you should always keep um, a level depending on if you want to trade or not, or if your support is chasing the enemy support and you need to suddenly um, level up the tree drum ability. You just close the gap and finish someone off. So keep that in mind. After that, I don't think you need more than two levels on the passive to win your lane because um, at that point you should or should have a, uh, should 
already have won it. So you maybe want to max tree drop. It will allow you to to clear creep ways really really fast. You can do full damage to range creeps and just a few hits in the the normal melee creeps. Um, and this is a great farming ability to get with the boundless track. Um, sometimes, if they are not threatening my tower, if they are not threatening any objectives, because um, I have suffocated the their off lane and their mid lane, maybe is not threatening our mid lane tower, and I don't need to defend it. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip OT. I'm gonna keep um, leveling up, leveling up the boundless track until I'm level 11, in which I will level up Wukong's command. So then at level 12, I'm gonna level it up again. And that's where you're really strong. What's the item build for the Monkey King? It depends. What is the carry matchup? What um, are the heroes on the other side? Generally, you become really powerful with the power threads. It allows you to stay in lane and farm efficiently with thread threads with um, thread switching to intelligence. It should give you sufficient mana to jump all around waves and, and jungle camps without wasting that much mana. Mm -hmm. So remember that mm -hmm. every time you wanna farm a creep wave, please make sure that your treads are on int, and you can um, use your mana efficiently. Of course, you will be having to ship extra calories, clarities throughout the first thirty minutes of the game. That's part of it. Um, it is totally worth an investment. Mainly because you're a hero that is able to push waves without necessarily being being chased or being killed by other heroes. Uh, let me see here how much time we have. Okay, only got 12 minutes. Mm, okay, let me talk about the item build. Okay. I like the combination of Phase Boots plus Echo Saber, but this Echo Saber here deal, um, that's for those games when you have like a, a fast paced team lineup, like um, an Alchemist, like um, um, let me see, an Alchemist, like um, maybe uh, a Slark. A legion commander that enables you with blank and such. These heroes that come online really fast, like a keeper of the light, like a, a tinker, like a, a queen of pain. And you want to take objectives really fast, and you want to be able to fight these heroes. Then you're gonna just build the echo saber, and you will be good enough to fight. If the time is time is tight, and you need to rush a BKB, not buy all the components of the BKB, just queue it up, buy the Mithril Hammer, buy the Recite, disassemble it into the BKB, and hold on to Stab. You might want to build it into uh, Bloodthorn, depending on the matchup, because you might build or kid Malevolence, although I don't buy it a lot. It can still be a useful item when going against squishy heroes, maybe like um, Tinker, maybe against like um, many other heroes here. Weaver against um, Anti Mage. Even with Mantai, if he's too careless, he's gonna just um, get Orchid and die against Invoker. Mm. They can't stop me. Got a feeling things are gonna pick. 
So, <clears throat> there'll be boots. Maybe if the lane is really, really easy, you can go for the arm of the corrosion. Although, in this patch specifically, I don't think it's worth it. I prefer to go uh, Wraith Bandit. Uh, that solves the job. Mm. You can select Maelstrom as a first item. You can finish this by 11 to 13 minutes. That's a good timing in which you'll be able to take jungle camps really fast, push waves really faster than you already push and farm exponentially. Your second item, Boo, most of the times be a BKB. A BKB. This, this item here is so important for you as a Monkey King because your main goal as an MK is to keep hitting people in team fights. So every time a team fight ha happens, um, you need to enable yourself or someone needs to enable you to keep hitting the heroes so that you can take advantage of your passive, of your Wukong's command timing. Um, that's how you keep the, the engine going. That's how you remain alive. So please buy this item every single game. No exceptions. Um, This, this Maelstorm item here is good against, really good against heroes like PL, Terror Blade, Naga Siren, um, Beastmaster, all these unit heroes or maybe illusion heroes that um, can overwhelm you really fast. Because if you build that into a Mjolnir, that's a great item for you. You hit faster, you accumulate stacks faster, you lifesteal faster, you hit harder, basically. So that's a great item for you too. Maybe if you want to buy a Maelstrom and then you can build it into a Gleipnir, that's also fine. This item here allows you to... Allows you to... Hold. Use it and then set up the kill yourself without actually have to touch the hero. Um, of course, that's a level one tie and such, but um, normally against supports, against heroes that are not as farmed as, as you, even though they're hard, of course, they will die. Um, but I prefer the middle storm and either X. Or Scuddy, <clears throat> School Basher is great, and that's it. Let me see here another thing that I would like to talk about. <clears throat> that's your skill usage. So I talked about how this this tree drum here needs to be used. Is that you need to use it to hide from in the trees, hide from the the people on the map and use it to farm exponentially but um, be aware that, for example um, he didn't see me like he can't see you moving here but let me try to make a ready for any an enemy monkey king so for example if i'm here and i have a monkey king coming he's here i can't see him jumping on this tree he's here see i can jump it here he's here but Um, how do you want to set up the kill? For example, you want to have either an abyssal blade or something that allows you to um, keep the, per the the enemy hero inside your ring, like in Scotty, like an Echo Saber, 
like maybe a diffuser blade if the game allows you to you want to get up on the tree and you're gonna ult let's pretend the hero he is here farming on the wave and I'm just gonna ult keep hitting um this video is pretty long, it's 20 minutes long. I could talk about the wave usage, how you want to lane, the items, how you're going to use this, this, this ability here to take your objectives. So I, I think I'm going to keep this as it is right now. Maybe if I watch this video and I feel that something um, was missing, I can just come back later and record a part two. The deal is that I'm getting tired too. I'm getting too tired to speak right now. My voice is kind of uh, boring me a bit. So I'm just gonna listen to my music and play some games. Um, I'm gonna put my toy here. Um, so while I play a game, and that's it. So just keep going. If you wanna play Dota 2, if you wanna start playing monkey king it's a, a great selection for you if you want to enjoy dota as a whole maybe experience all the strategy all the fighting and excitement that the game has to offer i believe this is a good option for you that's my go-to hero so that's it thank you for your attention thank you for the the pension the, the patience the comprehension yeah if you have any suggestions, maybe you can drop it out here on the comments or just um, yeah, leave a like and such. So thank you. See ya. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the next videos I can show you some replays that I, I had stored here to show you guys. But <clears throat> matter of fact, I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> um, maybe in part two. Thank you. See ya.